Hello EV fans, welcome back to EV's gallery. Hope you guys are doing well. From the latest industry updates to in-depth reviews of the hottest EV models, we are here to keep you charged with electrifying news and insights. We are thrilled to announce the launch of three exclusive membership levels on our channel, Spark, Voltage, and Gigawatt. Are you ready to supercharge your support and join an exclusive community of like-minded electric vehicle fans? Become a member of our channel today. By joining, you'll not only fuel our journey together but also unlock fantastic perks tailored just for you. So, if you haven't subscribed yet, now's the perfect time to join the EV revolution. Hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell to stay charged with the latest updates. NEO Incorporated has achieved a remarkable milestone, delivering a record number of vehicles in June, propelling its second quarter deliveries beyond the expected guidance. The electric vehicle manufacturer reported delivering 21,209 vehicles in June, surpassing the previous record of 20,544 vehicles set in May. This marks the second consecutive month of record-breaking deliveries, reflecting a robust growth trajectory for the company. The June deliveries represent a significant 98.09% increase from the 10,707 vehicles delivered in the same month last year and a 3.24% rise from May. This exceptional performance can be attributed to the positive impact of NEO's strategic adjustments to its battery as a service, BAS, rental service introduced in March and the overall resurgence of China's EV industry. NEO's second quarter performance also set new records, with the company delivering 57,373 vehicles, surpassing its previous quarterly record of 55,432 vehicles achieved in the third quarter of 2023. This represents a staggering year-on-year -year increase of 143.93% and a 90.91% rise from the first quarter. These results exceeded the company's own guidance range of 54,000 to 56,000 vehicles, which was provided during the announcement of its first quarter results on June 6. In terms of revenue, NEO had projected second quarter earnings to be between 16.59 billion renminbi, 2.28 billion dollars, and 17.14 billion renminbi, indicating a growth of approximately 89.1% to 95.3% compared to the same period in 2023. This revenue projection aligns with the impressive growth in vehicle deliveries, reinforcing NEO's strong market position and operational efficiency. NEO currently offers eight models, ES8, ES7, ES6, EC7, EC6, ET7, ET5, and ET5 Touring. The first five models are SUVs, while the last three are sedans. Notably, the company is gearing up to begin deliveries of its ET9 sedan, announced in December last year, starting in the first quarter of 2025. Despite a slight dip in SUV deliveries in June, the growth in sedan models compensated for this decline. In June, NEO's SUVs delivered 11,581 vehicles, marking an 81.44% increase year-on-year -year, but a 4.79% decrease from May. On the other hand, sedan models saw a delivery of 9,628 vehicles, a 122.66% year-on-year increase and a 14.89% rise from May. This trend underscores the growing popularity and demand for NEO's sedan models. Over the first half of the year, NEO delivered a total of 87,426 vehicles, representing a 60.24% year-on-year increase. SUV models accounted for 50,371 units, up 140.76% year-on-year, contributing 57.62% of the total deliveries. Meanwhile, sedan models delivered 37,055 vehicles in the first half, up 10.15% year-on-year, making up 42.38% of all deliveries. Since its inception, NEO's cumulative deliveries have reached 537,020 vehicles, highlighting the company's sustained growth and increasing market penetration. In addition to its flagship NEO-branded vehicles, the company is set to diversify its offerings with the launch of models under its sub-brand, Envo, in the third quarter. The Envo brand was officially launched on May 15, with the pre-sales of the Envo L60 commencing at a pre-sale price of 219,900 renminbi. NEO announced that the official launch and delivery of the Envo L60 would occur in September, although a specific date was not initially provided. Local media outlet Internet Info Agency later reported on June 19 that the Envo L60 would be officially launched on September 10. 
NEO's consistent performance and strategic expansion into new markets and product lines underscore its strong competitive position in the EV industry. The record deliveries and financial projections reflect the company's resilience and capability to navigate the evolving market dynamics, making it a formidable player in the global EV landscape. As NEO continues to innovate and expand, it remains well positioned to capitalize on the growing demand for electric vehicles, both in China and internationally. Thank you so much for joining us today. We love hearing your thoughts and insights, so don't forget to share your comments and feedback in the comments section below. Your engagement means a lot to us, and it keeps the conversation going. If you enjoyed today's content and want to stay updated with the latest news, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way, you won't miss out on any future updates.